Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have been doing quite a bit of Easter shopping. So I have split my hauls into homeware, craft and stationery, and Harry Potter. So this is the homeware section of my haul and it is huge. So I'm gonna whiz through it really quick, but if you want any more information, then obviously please feel free to ask me. Now, the first thing I picked up is this over the door hooks with these beautiful little silver hearts on it. This was £4.50 from Primark. I just need somewhere to hang things like my dressing gown, my biggest hoodies, I just don't really have a place for them. So I picked this up, I need to take it off the packet, see if it goes over my door and things. But I thought that was really, really pretty and I didn't have to fix it to the door. Needed a new bin because mine is broken and I picked this one up in B&M's for £1.99. So it's got like an atlas on here of Europe and then it says follow your dreams. Thought that was really pretty. Not that you need a pretty bin, but anyhow. Then I picked up this little trinket pot in B&M's. So it's white porcelain, it was 2 pounds it's got a little unicorn head with a silver horn. They did have unicorns with, oh sorry I'm out of frame, they did have unicorns with gold horns as well. So it depends I suppose which colour scheme you're going for. But I'm currently decorating my room, which is why I've bought so much of this stuff. Um, and I was just looking for things to put jewellery and stuff inside, and I thought that was really, really pretty. And then in Home Bargains I bought another pot, and it's this one. It's like, it looks like crystal, but obviously it's just glass, and I think this was 2 pounds as well. I'll have to double check if I'm wrong, I'll change, put the right price on the screen. But I think this was 2 pounds so it's got this butterfly on the top, and it's got three little feet on the bottom. And I thought that would be really cute with my hair clips and things in, because I use hair clips a lot. So I thought pop those in on the side would look really pretty. Just trying to sort of redo my room as I said. Then I picked up, again for sort of display purposes, some trays in B&M's. I picked these up. So they're ceramic storage trays and they've got hearts on the front. They're £2.49 each. They're not very big, but you could put bits and pieces in there and then put them on your side and it would look really, really pretty. So they only had one grey, so I picked that one up. But I also picked up two in the, it's kind of an off-white, it's not quite white, it's a bit cream. And I picked, um, sorry there's cardboard in them, I picked two of those up. Now I don't know necessarily, a lot of the stuff that I've bought, I don't know that I need three of these as such, but it's one of those things that you like something, you don't, you only pick one up and then you go back later and they've sold out. So what I've kind of done is I've overbought, which you'll see in a minute, um, I'm gonna rearrange my room as I'm decorating and then anything that I don't use, I can take back. Also in B&M's I picked up this basket. Now it's a white wicker basket. It's got some hessian um, on the inside, like a really fine hessian, with this beige gingham, and it's just tied in a bow, and then you've got this little beige gingham heart hanging. And what's really cute is it's got these two handles. It's like a little Dorothy basket. And I'm not quite sure what I'd want this for at the minute, but I've got a specific place where I think this might look nice. Um, and I thought perhaps my hair straighteners, my hair dry and things, because they're in a plastic tub at the minute. It's where I've moved into this little room and it's like playing Tetris, a lot of my stuff isn't displayed very nicely. It's just done for practicality. And I'd like to walk in my room and think, oh, that looks nice, rather than I've got all these plastic tubs everywhere just for convenience. Um, so then, oh, I picked up a new bedding set. I picked this up from the range. I picked this up. So the colour scheme that I'm going in this room is grey. I'm putting grey and white everywhere. And then what I'm going to do is put a pop of colour on the bedding. So the bedding that I've got at the moment is that animal one that I showed you from um, Aldi. So it's got the blues and the greens in it. And then I've also got one that's got sort of a hint of pink. And I thought this one with the hint of purple. So each time I change the bedding, I'm going to change the tea lights on the windowsill. And then I thought that's a really easy way to just mix up your room a little bit. So I picked that up. I thought that was really, really pretty. It's got hints of pink in it as well. Pink and purple. So that's the bedding set. And as you can see, it was in the flash sale. It's 11 19 for a double duvet set. I thought that was brilliant value. And also in the range, I picked up some vacuum storage bags. I have bought quite a few cushions to go on the bed. But obviously when I'm switching between colours, 
there's going to be cushions that I'm not using and I thought these would re be really good to keep the dust off them and hopefully would obviously reduce the space that I'd need to store them and cushions when you use these when you open them back up they just pop back up which is really really good so I can't I don't know how much these were I'll check my receipt and I'll pop it here um but I didn't they didn't have any prices in there I just knew I needed them so I picked them up anyway then I picked up, so in fact I just spoke about the cushions, so I'll show you which cushions I've got. So the first cushion is this one, this one was from Matalan, so it's just a small grey square cushion, it's really really soft, and as you can see it's got this silver um, glitter flex on it. It is called Metallic Fake Fur Cushion, it's 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres, and it's from their home store, and this was £6 for this cushion. So I thought that was really, really cute. That's going to go sort of at the front of my little section of cushions as such. And then to go with this bedding, the sort of blues and the whites, I picked these up. These are from Primark, and these are new. When I took them up, I had to exchange something in Primark. And when I took these up to the customer service, the woman up there was like, these are beautiful. They are incredibly soft. And they've got them in three colours at the moment. They've got them in this grey... So it's got the grey at the bottom and then they get sort of whiter on the edges. They've got them in pink and in lilac. And they're just, they're so, I'm such a tactile person as I've said before. And they're just absolutely divine. Now I picked up the grey for this bedding that I'm sitting on at the moment to go with some blue cushions I'll show you in a second. But I also did pick up the pink because the other bedding that I've got that's got pink in it, I thought these would go better. So as you can see, I'm going to be switching between different cushions. So I'm going to need to store some at some point. But these were, believe it or not, for these cushions, they're quite a good size. And they're incredibly fluffy. They were £3 each. That's it. £3 for these home cushions. So they're 14 inches in diameter. Can you believe £3 for these? They're absolutely lovely. Um, I I bought these, this was the first shop I went in and I bought the grey and the pink and I hadn't yet bought this bedding so then I was a bit like, oh, I should have got the purple instead of the grey or instead of the pink but to be quite honest, I'm quite happy with the colours that I did pick up the, oh, the grey and the purple were very similar um, which was why I was tempted with the purple but they just wouldn't go with the bedding that I'm sitting on at the moment at all. So I picked those ones up to go onto the bed. I'm just going to lob these in there because I'm running out of space on my bed. Because I also picked up some bigger cushions to go behind. So you know how you like layer the cushions? Um, I will take a picture of my bed and pop it at the end of this video um, when I've set the cushions up. But for this bedding, this animal print one, I picked these up in the range. And these are called Swirly Fur Cushions. This is the duck egg. It's 45 by 45 centimetres. And this was, I believe, this was £5. I think this was 4 99 And this is a removable cover. It's got a zip here down at the bottom. So you would be able to buy other cushion covers if you got bored of these ones. But it's very, very soft. They had this in like a, like a candy pink, um, like a fuchsia pink. They had this in this duck egg blue, in white, in purple, and in red, I believe, and in grey. So they had quite a lot of cushion colours in this um, in this style, and it is really, really soft. Oh, sorry, I got a phone call. Originally, I picked this up in the grey, but then I found some other grey cushions in Asda that I preferred more. So as I say, I bought two of this duck egg blue for this bedding, and then the grey floral bedding that I've got that's got a hint of pink... I picked up these cushions now if I could open up my camera and let you feel this cushion honestly you would be mighty impressed it is one of the softest cushions I've ever had and these were six pounds six pounds for and it's really really thick look it's a proper puffy cushion so it's got this on the side and then you have got a zip so you can replace the cushion covers or take them off and wash them if you wanted to and then you've got this really, really soft fake fur on this side. And as I say, this is from Asda, from George Home. And this was £6. And again, I picked up two of those. So they're to go with the other set of bedding. So it'll be these with the pink and then the blue with the grey. That's my plan, anyway. Then I've picked up a load of sort of bits for my windowsill. So candles and things. Oh, got to sit down. 
some candles and things. So I picked up in Matalan, I picked up this jar here. So it's got silver in the on the inside, and then obviously it makes this like frosted silver effect on the outside, which I thought was really, really cool. It's a bit bobbly, so I'm not 100 percent sure if I'm in frame. I've got the camera really high up today. And then you've got a little handle, and this was only three pounds. I thought in the middle of my mantelpiece that would look really, really pretty. Not mantelpiece, windowsill. So that's the Azure collection. And then also in Matalan, I picked up these little geometric candle holders. They're just for tea lights, but they are quite deep, so you could probably use quite thick tea lights in here. But it's got this really lovely geometric crystal glass. I thought these were really, really fun, and they're £2.50 each. They're called Chunky Glass Tea Light Holders. And I picked up two of those. Then in b &Ms, I picked up this. So this is a lavender candle. And it's in this purple sort of cut glass. And again, it's got that silver on the inside. Purple glass. And then it creates the effect. That it's like a purple metallic. And then my plans with candles like this that come in such lovely jars you burn the candle through and this is a double wick candle so I can't imagine it's going to last too long um, burn the candle through and then I reuse the glass pots and this was 3 99 but I thought you could then put maxi tea lights in here or votives and things and then you can keep using the glass jar so I picked that one up then my mum actually picked me up I quite like feathers I think they're very symbolic um, uh, as you can see obviously I've got the feather duvet set oh sorry my dog's going off my mum picked this up for me in the pound shop so I believe she, I believe she means pound uh, pound land and it's got this really beautiful blue feather on like a grey pattern and so she picked me one of those up I thought that was really pretty it's just a candle holder there's no candle in it um, from home bargains I picked up some really really cute candle holders so you've got two different colours and they've got mermaids on them. So this one is blue on the inside and then you've got silver on the outside with this mermaid with the stars. And then you've got the same design in pink with a slightly different mermaid. So there's the pink on the inside. And I thought with the two sort of colour schemes that I'm doing, I can mix and match these. So let me just... Oh, goodness me. And I got two of each of these. And I can't remember. I want to say these were one ninety nine. I will double check my receipt. And if I'm wrong, I'll put the correct price on the screen. But I think they were one ninety nine each. And then from Primark, I got this candle here. So this one was £4. It is bay leaf and amber scented. So it's got a cork top. And it's got this really beautiful sort of teal glass. And I... I really like the geometric cuts and things so I picked that up and then to go either side of that because I quite like doing when you have one big candle in the middle and then a couple of little ones either side I picked up some of these so they're the same colour they're just 80 pence little round candles and these are apple and avocado they're not they're not very strong you can smell them more now um, now that I'm not in the shop there were so many different candles there the smell was a little bit overpowering um, the woman at the till sniffed them and was like, they don't even smell at all, but they do. But I don't know how well they'll smell when they're lit. And I bought four of those. Let's move those out of the way. Then I went into Asda and I've got, oh, it's a little bit of a sad story. So I found this plant pot, found this plant in a pot, and I loved the pot. And I couldn't find, it was sort of randomly in the kitchenware stuff. And I couldn't find any more of them. And then I hunted for ages and ages and ages. And I just couldn't find any more. I had no idea the price. So I went to the till because the poor plant looked like he was dying and he needed a friend. So I went to the till. This is the plant here. His name is Jeremy now. We're friends. I'd been carrying him around this Asda for about 20 minutes while my mum did her shopping. And eventually I was like, I'm just going to have to take him home and give him some TLC. So the pot that he's in is this silver... Uh, sort of it's got like lines going across like in a bit of a silver and grey sparkly kind of I don't know how to describe that but that's what it looks like 
and the woman at the till was like oh if there's no more i'll just do it for two pounds so i got this plant and pot for two pounds which i think is really really good value so when i got him home i decided to replant him he's been replanted he's got some fresh new compost and he's been watered i do i'm quite tempted to get one of those drip water feeder things but he's going to live on my windowsill and he's going to be my friend and we're going to nurse him back to life he's already looking a bit perkier actually all his um, leaves were just kind of drooping. You can see some of them are a little bit broken, like this poor bit of plant kind of just fell off um, and he's lost most of his roots because I think he's been really manhandled. But for £2, I, I absolutely love the pot and this is my friend Jeremy, so welcome everybody. And then I've picked up some other candles in the range. Now these are really, really fun. Now these are all practical candles for like my windowsill for decoration. But these ones are going to be my summer candles because look, I absolutely love pineapples and I love coconut. And this is um, like a pineapple and coconut kind of tropical scent. And it's got this yellow glass at the bottom and the green on the top. And it looks like a pineapple. It smells absolutely divine. This is $3.99 and they had it in two different colours. So they had it in the pink and orange and the yellow and green. And they're the same scent inside it's the same candle inside but the jars are just so fun and i'm going to put these away because these these are a proper summer scent so these are what i'm going to burn in the summer but i've got these sort of tea light holders to go along the windowsill but then these will go on one of my little bedside tables just for um, a bit of decoration i suppose and as i say i'm going to save these for summer so they had two pineapples and then they had this cactus one so this one doesn't have a handle but it has the two sort of cactus bits and this is cool cucumber so it's i'm not sure what this kind of smells like i mean you can smell the cucumber but there's there's something else in it i can't quite work it out maybe a bit of mint perhaps but i thought that was really fun and what's really lovely about these kinds of jars is again when you burn the candle through you can reuse them you can you um I tend to wash these out and then repurpose them for different fun things. So that would be a really cool pen holder or something like that. And then just because I'd picked these up and there was one other thing in the little set and I loved this and I thought once it was burnt through for rings, this would be fab. It's a watermelon bowl candle. Now these don't always burn very well when you've got these wick ones because you always end up with wax all around the outside. But look. It's this glass here, and I think every single one of these things was either two ninety nine or three ninety nine. And you've got this glass; it looks like a watermelon. And I thought when that was burnt through, that would be really lovely to pop bits and pieces in. It'd be a really cool little decoration piece in your room. So I picked those up. So those are my candles. So I'm just going to clear those away, and I'll show you the last bits I bought. Okay, the final few bits I've bought are baskets. But just before that, I picked these up in Home Bargains. These Dettol cleaning wipes, 126 are on offer for £3 at the moment. Really, really good value. So the last few bits I picked up were baskets. So at the moment, I said to you before, most of my stuff is in plastic tubs. It's not very nice. Or all the paper boxes that I've got are all different shapes and sizes. I just want things to look a little bit more uniform in here. I think it will make the room appear bigger if things are symmetrical and neat. So to go on my very top shelf, because I've got a box with like all my Christmas bits in, a box with all my Halloween bits in, I've bought these to go up on the top shelf. So they're these woven baskets, they're from B&M's and they are 4 99 each. It's a large woven rectangular basket. It's got the dimensions there for you. And I've got two of them. They only had two in this grey. And I thought they were really roomy. So I need to measure them up on my shelf. See what they look like. See if I like these. If I do, then I can always go and get go to a different B&M's and pick up a few more. Because I've got these in the lakeside one. But there is one closer to me. Uh, it just so happened that that was where I was yesterday. So I've picked those up. They're 4 99 each. And they're really good value for the size. And then... Oh, sorry. It's a bit of a funny story. So I bought one set of baskets from Home Bargains, which were these. So they're grey and white little baskets to go on my shelves to house bits in. And I think that these were 2 99 each. And I really like these woven baskets. I think they'll look smarter on my shelves than the plastic ones that I've got at the moment. So I picked these up. And then I decided at the time, because I was leaning more towards this blue as a colour scheme, I decided to pick up some blue ones from Wilkinson's which I picked these up these were 4 99 each so they were more expensive 
and they're a slightly different shape. They're also bigger than these ones. So then I was in a bit of a predicament. Did I want the blue ones? Did I want the grey and white ones? I have got more than these, like there's several of each colour. And then I just couldn't decide. I was leaning away from the blue, so I was going to refund those. I just wanted to show you them as an option if you're looking for something like that. They're from the bathroom uh, range. It's a small caddy. Um, so they're, yeah, they're 4 99 each and they've got them in black as well. I thought they were really nice. But then I decided, oh, I decided that I was going to be alternating between blue and pink. So they weren't going to be very practical for this room. So then again, I was going back to these ones. But then in B&M yesterday, I found these. So again, it's the same style of basket, but these are sets of three for four ninety nine, and the bigger one is bigger than these ones, and it's slightly more um, square on the sides. It comes straight down, whereas these ones kind of taper in a little bit, and I thought they might look a bit neater. And then, as you can see, you get the two, two smaller ones as well, and they had them in grey, in blue, and also in this like creamy taupe colour. So if I just show you, you've got these like smaller baskets. And I thought sometimes you don't need a huge basket for a couple of items. So then I picked these up. And I, I'm quite an indecisive person anyway. Particularly when I'm feeling a bit under pressure, a bit stressed. And this room is just stressing me out. I just feel like it's so messy. And it isn't messy. It just I have so much stuff. And it's just stressing me out. So I seem to have all these different options of baskets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little play with them, arrange them around, see what I like, and then the ones that I don't want, I'm going to take back in the week. Um, so it's cost me quite a lot at the moment because I've got tons of baskets and there's no way I'm ever going to need all of these baskets. However, I just kind of needed to have a little bit of a play around and see what I liked. I'm not that keen on this colour, um, but my sister was saying it might look a bit dark if they're all just grey. So I'm not too sure, as I say, um, this the paper on these has broken on this set. So I'm going to sort of play around with them, see what I think. But yeah, so there's loads of options like out there if you're looking for storage baskets. These are quite light compared to these ones. Like I would say that this big one is lighter than this one here, which is quite strange. Um, but yeah, there's loads of options. So these ones are the Home Bargains ones, these ones are from B&M's and even Wilkinson's had just Wilkinson's I'd say are definitely more expensive they are deeper but definitely pricier and then I thought that whether I stick with these ones or these ones they're going to match the big ones that I picked up either way so yeah so I'm going to have a play around with those I'm happy to do like a little bit of a room tour at some point if anyone would be interested but I do need to paint it first because it's a hideous shade of brown <laughs> and it's just not very nice so when I've decorated, if you want to see what I end up doing and my storage solutions, I'm more than happy to do a video for you. Now, I'm sorry for rambling on. That video went on for ages. I have bought a lot of homeware stuff. So I'm going to start packing all this stuff away because I've got a couple more hauls to film before the day is out. I um, hope you're enjoying your Easter holidays, everybody. If you're off and if you're not, I hope you're enjoying your weekend. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.